Coming up on the lowdown today, Assassin's Creed Rogue was announced the other day and now they've revealed their pre-order bonuses. Get ready for some amazing acapella featuring nearly three decades of video game history. And did you ever think you'd see a real life fish play Pokemon? Yes, you heard me right. The lowdown starts now. Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Panos with The Grid Gaming, bringing you the lowdown today. Developer and publisher Yacht Club Games revealed the difficulties they went through when developing Shovel Knight, including five months without pay. Even though the Kickstarter exceeded its goal of $75,000, it didn't end up being enough to cover all expenses, so the team took a hit. But they all worked long, hard hours regardless because they were passionate about the project and they believed in it. It's a good thing they did because the game was a success and sold 180,000 copies in one month. The announcement trailer for Assassin's Creed Rogue came out the other day and then they revealed the pre-order bonuses. matters is that I followed my own creed. You'll receive the Siege of Fort de Sable mission and the Ultimate Hunter pack. You can reserve a copy of the game at GameStop, Amazon, and Ubisoft's store. The game is confirmed for Xbox 360 and PS3 and will release two weeks after Assassin's Creed Unity on November 11th. Microsoft is releasing a digital TV tuner adapter for the Xbox One later this year in Europe, expanding the system's live TV features to more markets. The adapter will plug into a USB port, allowing users to bypass a cable or satellite set-top box connected through the HDMI port. The tuner lets users watch selected channels without changing inputs. If you have a Kinect, you can make different channel selections using your voice. This tuner is very similar to Sony's discontinued Play TV device, which let you watch, pause, and record digital free-to-air TV on a PlayStation 3. The Xbox One digital tuner will be available late October in the UK for €24.99. Square Enix recently released Dragon Quest IV on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, although you won't be able to find it under that name at the moment. A typo has the game listed as Dragon Quest IV on the iOS App Store, and people are having a lot of fun with that error on Twitter. You can look up the hashtag Dragon Quest My Game for some laughs. Dragon Quest IV is listed on the iTunes Store as $18.99 without any in-app purchases, although when I went to download it on the iPad, it was $14.99. All right, Aaron's here, and he's going to tell you guys what's coming up next. Hey, what's up guys? Coming up on Social Hour, we got a lot of tweets and YouTube comments to respond to. I'll read you guys one right now. First one comes from a guy named Andreas Molan. He says, my favorite game character is Dingo Dial, a hybrid between a dingo and a crocodile with a flamethrower. Can it get any cooler? I love when people mix names. It's like Heidi and Spencer. Remember when they called her Spidey? That was, that was a long time ago. I think we need to move on. But for now, we're going to go back to Elizabeth and she's going to finish up the news for us. Back to you, Elizabeth. Thanks, Aaron. Aaron has mentioned Smooth McGrew from YouTube before who does amazing acapella video game soundtracks. Another YouTuber, Triforce Films, recently posted an acapella extravaganza of 20 tracks from 1980 with Pac-Man to 2007 with Uncharted. The fa my favorite was the Ninja Turtles 1989. There's a whole 16 minutes of this masterpiece that you can check out at the link below. Did you ever think you'd see a fish play Pokemon before or that it could actually happen? I didn't. But a fish with the full name Grayson Hopper is currently in a tank hooked up to a webcam with enough people watching him to fill center court. 15,000 people. The system hits a corresponding button on a Game Boy emulator depending on where the fish moves in the tank and the game accepts the input. 
The fish was actually doing pretty well, acquired a Pokemon, and won the first battle against its rival, Gary. However, as more and more people started watching it, seems the fish got stage fright. But it's not stopping people from checking out this bizarre scenario. NYU just approved an undergraduate program for video game design at the New York University Game Center. You'll soon be able to submit applications for a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Game Design to the Tisch School of the Arts. 20 current students are expected to be accepted into the program starting in January 2015, followed by 40 first-year students beginning the following semester, fall 2015. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Elizabeth Panos with The Great Gaming. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Great Elizabeth, and also on Facebook, at Elizabeth Panos. And now Aaron's going to take you guys away with Social Hour. What's up guys, Aaron Stapish here and I'm back with another social hour here to talk to you guys. First one we're gonna dive right in is from Bjorn AFCA. He says, can't get enough of this channel. Keep up the good work everybody with a smiley face. Thank you, I appreciate that. Encouraging words always go a long way, so thank you for watching. Next one actually comes to us from Instagram from Gaming History 101. He says, how long does it usually take to film a great gaming video? Now it's all dependent, something like this is a little shorter, obviously reviews take a little longer. Everything kind of has its own flavor, anywhere from a few minutes to like, you know, 30 minutes with production and everything. So good question by the way. Michael Gilbert asks for some, or says, for some reason Aaron looks like Adam Sandler in this video to me. Compliment? I, I, I don't know, I, I like Adam Sandler as a comedian, I love his old stuff especially. Tom Preston says, epic fail! Talking about Solid Snake and using footage of Big Boss from MGS3, Metal Gear Solid 3. That was my doing. I don't know what I was thinking. Snake, I apologize to you. Next one, this guy actually, I can't read his name, it's like Luigi Apple. He says, my name is Luigi and my whole life people have been asking me where Mario is. I don't know, don't ask. I can only imagine how old that joke would get, especially being named Luigi in a gaming world if you're involved with gamers. So I, I am sorry for you, I feel for you right there. The next one actually comes from Geodude and it was actually a video. It was awesome. This guy posted a little skateboarding clip of him doing a fakey 360 flip, which I love seeing stuff like this as a skateboarder. I enjoy that. Thank you, Geodude. Next one comes from Elysian Shadows, or at least I, that's how I think you pronounce it. Awesome game, by the way. It says, you guys are awesome. We're all sitting in a hotel room in Panama City Beach watching this. What an awesome way to wake up. Ha, ha, ha. And he was talking about, we mentioned their game a while ago, Elysian Shadows, that they are developing. So that's really cool that you guys watch. We appreciate the support. Last one I'm going to read for you guys is actually from Robert Burnham. He says, I thought Elizabeth in the Toad costume was awesome. Aaron's was a little too plain. My costume was Luigi. I guess I didn't look as cool as Elizabeth did. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I am Aaron Stapish and this was Social Hour. I love talking to you guys. We'll talk to you guys here again soon at The Grid Gaming. See you next time.